Okay, as promised, this is the lost video, the video that I wanted to share with you about the lady that we were on the cruise with. And I want to show you the hate that I was talking about from somebody that is out there that supports Christian nationalism, supports uh, deep conspiracy theories. And we befriended them when we was on the cruise. So I'm going to read this off right now. And you're going to be shocked. And this is coming. She's a black woman. She's 76, 77 right now. Friend, and we, you know, like a, uh, you have just listen to the message after I read this. And I'll go into the video that I recorded that I wanted you guys to see. So I'm going to read it. I told my wife to uh, text her and see what her thoughts was about Kamala's speech that night when she had that speech. And this was her response. She said, my wife's name uh, is good to hear from you, but I'm born and raised in San Francisco and I know her history. Also, I know Willie Brown personally. She hurt a lot of black men and women and she's a liar. She was raised in Canada and her mom was a scientist and I lived in India and have been, uh, been many, many times to the Caribbean and she's not black. And she is part of the demon society in Hollywood who all have sold their souls to get more dollars. And Kamala is a childless married to a Jew who has money and black rock. And she doesn't believe in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And she has been with Diddy, P. Diddy. I mean, this is crazy. I told you this is way out there. And all and all that's going to come out a lot of political Hollywood and Taylor Swift and more. She doesn't even like black people. Please read about her and Waltz. And it's effing crazy that they're all socialists. Listen to YouTube or iHeartRadio for Bishop Larry Gators. Gators and many black men that are not and didn't vote for this. W-H-O-R-E. W-H-O-R-E. Otherwise, I hope you are well and please pray for our country. This is coming from somebody that you will hear more about her as I go into the video now. So this is what we're talking about. It's crazy. Pray for this nation. Yeah, she needs prayer. And I meant to put this in the last video, but this is a bonus. You know, when during the uh, pandemic there, and once cruising started back up, many of you that has followed with me and been with me, you know that we went on several cruises and I continue to run into people that were in con into conspiracy theories. Met, ran one guy, ran into a guy as we were sitting there uh, waiting on our food items and things. And he's telling me at that time that Biden was going to be arrested and that the government, the military is getting ready to take over and things like that. And I'm like, really, are you sure? Oh yeah, it's hap it'll happen by the time we get off the ship. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm running into these conspiracy people that are way out there. And then you know, there was a couple, this guy, her husband worked for the Pentagon. He was 60 years old. It was a holiday cruise that we did. He was 60 and his wife was like 74, former beauty pageants, beautiful lady, still at 74 and things. And uh, we began to hang out with them, had the greatest time for that week uh, with them. And uh, uh, they were fun living in D.C. there. But she's into crazy conspiracies. And he was sat there when she was talking to my wife and talking all of this conspiracy and the politicians and all of the some of the people we've talked about that she follows. And his her husband's looking at me and, you know, he's like, oh, oh, my God, he like going like this, knowing that his wife. And I'm like, oh, wow. I wonder how does this work? Apparently he doesn't subscribe to what she's talking about. So when Kamala spoke the other night, because she still keeps in touch with my wife and things, because um, they would like for us to meet up and do another cruise at some point or something like that. Um, but my, my wife, uh, uh, when J.D. Vance first got selected, she uh, uh uh, text my wife. Hey, you see that great Vance? Blah, 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 blah. So I, I told her, I told the wife, I said, text her and see what she says about the Kamala speech. And I'm going to read you her response. Now, she claims to be a Christian. She claims to be a Christian, but I'm going to read you the response and I want you to see. 
And as you can see there, you see that this is coming from somebody that claims and you use the same and all of that talking her Lord Jesus Christ and all of that. But you want to talk about deeply brainwashed and talking about Bishop Larry Gathers. That's a whole nother story. This guy's really not a bishop. That's a whole other. That guy is way out there. And it just goes to show me. And I was telling the wife, I said, she's at her age now because that was the, she's probably 76 now, maybe 76 going on 77. I said, it, it, it's she's off on the is all you can do is pray that hopefully she find her way back. But when you're de that deep and gone at that age and things like that, there may be no coming back. There may be no coming back. That's what you call extremely deceived. And at the same time, it shows a glimpse into her heart because look how she what she's going to talk about somebody, another human being like that. And you supposed to be a Christian. This is why I make this is why we make the messages we do. This is why I continue to talk about these folks that subscribe to a lot of this stuff. They don't care about people. They don't care about souls. They don't care about nobody. There's a lot of hate within them. And that's what we're dealing with. A false brand of Christianity that masquerades as they care about you. But deep inside is full of hate. It's nothing but a, a new version of the Jim Crow era. And unfortunately, from even and, and I meant to tell you, she's black. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's coming from my old people a lot that what they would call there's words i'm not going to say on here that we have for people like this that and you many of you know there's words for people like that that uh, against their own i mean that right there is this insane that she's like that and talking like that and it's very disheartening and great as they were and things like that um I mean, it won't, I don't know. I don't know if we'll go on a trip or whatever. I mean, it's great. We won't talk politics if we run into them because we like all like the same cruise lines and things. But definitely, you know, politics and things like that. I'm not going to hold personally against her and stuff, but it just shows a glimpse though because the wife is still in shock. So she may not, I don't know. This is when you see this, it's like, whoa, is this how you really, this is, your heart is like that? So I don't know. I, I mean, I probably will. We probably won't be trying to uh, anytime, you know, soon of any sort, trying to link up with them like that. So it was great for the time we experienced and things like that. But um, at the same time, I mean, I know that I mean, I've got co-workers and certain people that have the, the you know, we all got our views and stuff. But to uh, come across in such a hateful way. And stuff like that, uh, that, that's disheartening, I guess. You know, it's disheartening. And, you know, and if I was to see her, I would probably, I mean, you know, we end up linking up or have whatever, to, you know, I probably would ask her, do you think that that's, you know, I would, I would, I would ask her, I would confront her with that and ask her, do you think that that's Christ like t talking and acting like that and would like to know more and dive into her in a loving way? So, you know, so I don't shy away. From things because I want to know. I would like to find out why are you conducting and thinking and acting like that. So we'll, you know, continue to talk about things. I thought I'd share this with you. We'll continue to uh, move forward, but that was just a little extra right there just to see. There's a lot of people that's like this and worse on both, you know, it don't matter the colors. They just got hate in their heart. And for some reason, and I don't know what's why, and, you know, keep Jesus' name out of your mouth. Don't don't even say anything. If you're going to just be hateful, be hateful. But don't link yourself as tell people you're a Christian or try to bring Jesus Christ and all of that into that. Because all that does is, as we talk about, put a wedge in between those that are lost. So that's all I have. Evangelist for God's channel. Maurice Braxton is the name. Take the devil head on. And what else we do As we always say, punch a writer between the chops. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.